going here. So, what do you suppose that is? That's my Leaning Tower of Medicine Cups. I used to use... I can find it. There it is. This stuff right here. You know what? You can't buy that anymore, hardly. That's the last two balls I found. And, uh... It's Tylenol, cold, nighttime cold stuff is what it is. I used it for years, and uh, not like 20 years. That's It would have took that long uh, if you took it only when you had a cold. But I have such bad allergies, it was the only thing I could find that would uh, work and uh, do a good job at night. And... Uh, I just started sticking those together, you know, one day, and I just kept doing it. And uh, I just thought, you know, that's kind of look starting to look neat once it started leaning a little bit. And so I thought, that's my little cup sculpture. Uh, but now you can't get it anymore, so I'm not adding to it. So I'm kind of over it. And uh, and also, I kept kind of, I started thinking. I made a video about this once. I uh, took them and put them under my magnifying glass and read the text, you know, put it on the video where you could see it. But I started thinking that it seemed that the only thing different, oh, well, I'm just don't go too far too fast here. The, uh, it seemed, look at there, you can see me in the mirror. It seemed that, um, it was actually making me feel bad the next day, you know, out of it, not thinking straight. It didn't seem, it seemed that the uh, effects lingered. And so, uh, and not just for, you know, an hour or two, but just most of the day. Maybe like four or five hours after I got up, I might clear up some. But I've had uh, all kinds of other health problems over the years, so I didn't connect it with that for a long time. All those years, really. And just until the last, this is 2017, last year, 2016, so I started kind of thinking about it. I don't remember what made me think about it. But, um, uh, I still need something so that I can sleep, uh, you know, without coughing and gagging and almost throwing up from allergy drainage. And so I got to looking at everything, and I can't take anything that raises your blood pressure. And yeah, I've got all kinds of additives and stuff, you know, vitamins and minerals and junk I take. Uh, and they help some, they seem to. But uh, this right here is a generic brand of... I didn't even remember it, but evidently it's basically a generic brand of NyQuil, which NyQuil, the old NyQuil used to make me shake, and I couldn't take it. That's why I got to taking that Tylenol. But this has got one different ingredient than the Tylenol up there, and it is an antihistamine is what it is, and I'm not going to try to, actually you might be able to read those, it looks like it, but uh, I'm not going to try to go into the all the ingredients, but... Uh, this one doesn't do that to me. It tastes horrible. They got blue and they got red. And I'm using the red because it's the least horrible. But um, cherry and whatever the old original blue they call it. I don't know what flavor it's supposed to be. It works okay. But not it really doesn't work as good as the other. But it, I don't feel so groggy and out of it as I did. I still do, but not like I was before. Now, it could be a coincidence because my... My problems kind of get better and worse over the months and over the years. And they'll, I'll get better for a few months and then get worse again. It's really hard to tell what's helping and what's not. These things here I take, have to take, I do have three, three, four prescriptions I have to take. Because I, I have diabetes and I take blood pressure medicine. But uh, I don't know why I'm going into this. I just decided to. But uh, these um, additives is what I call them. Add-on, add-ons, additives. They, um, they seem to help, and I, you know, I'm kind of, I'm not. I, there's so much to learn about that stuff, but I care. I'll be careful not to take too much of any one vitamin or anything. You know, learned that over the years. I've been, I started sort of find. People were telling me about it back in the early '90s, and I didn't really start learning about it myself till like '99 or 2000 or something. But um, anyway, so I've, you know, I've had. Definitely no expert and wouldn't give anybody any advice, but I think of, you know, I haven't died yet, so I haven't done anything really stupid. But, um, 
uh, went blank. I do that all the time. So see, are there what what most people consider you know kind of fogging out of it? That would be a good day for me. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So uh, anyway, um, I forgot what my point was here. My leaning, anyway, I go back to my leaning camera because I completely forgot what else I was talking about. I just thought it looked sort of like an art installation, and so I just left it. But now I really want to take it down, but I haven't done it yet. I thought before I take it down, I need to document it because <laughs> I won't ever see it again once I take it down. My art will be gone. <laughs> All right, it's done. Bye bye.